2023 it's almost here i am so excited and i hope you are too and let's talk about whether you shall become a ux designer in 2023 i'm sure you've seen that the competition to enter this ux design field is extremely extremely high i see two main groups of people trying to enter the field of ux the first group of people are people who have some visual design or graphic design background this include a lot of architects and graphic designers and people who are already UI designers or physical product designers. So this group of people share one quality, which is they already have really good visual design skill and they already have a portfolio. It's just that they didn't have a lot of digital product design experience. And then there's another group of people who don't have a lot of visual design experience. This includes people who are working in a different industry. Like if you are working in the healthcare industry or if you are currently like an accountant working on Wall Street or if you're currently unemployed because you studied a major that doesn't give you a job and now it's hard for you to get into tech. If you're a part of this group of people, I suggest you to jump to the second chapter of this video. So if you stay here, I assume you already have some visual design background. If that is the case, then I think you are going to be relatively competitive to enter the field of UX design. The simple reason is that a lot of the things you've done before in your previous role will be transferable to this new role because after all, no matter what your title is, as a designer, at the end of the day, you need to hand in your Figma file. I think UX design wouldn't be hard for you because you will be good at it. And I've seen so many of my architect friends who successfully transferred into UX in less than a year. So for this group of people, I would suggest you to take a bootcamp because that will easily get you a real life experience and then transfer into UX design. If you don't have real life experience working on an actual product, it will be difficult. And Springboard is one of the online bootcamp that I know that's pretty good. I have a discount code here if you want to check it out, not sponsored, just saying. Although I see one common mistake that this group of people often make, which is making your portfolio too fancy. If you're designing for an app, it needs to work very well. It doesn't need to look super fancy. So you can't really use the same idea of designing a poster to designing an app. And I've seen many of my subscribers portfolio and I've seen many of you doing great physical product design work. But then when it comes to your app design or UI UX design work, sometimes I see portfolios that make me feel like this is not an actual app. A portfolio that's overly fancy might be okay from the eye of a recruiter, but it could be hard to pass from the eye of a hiring manager. Please don't do all those like fancy background, colorful background, and don't add a shadow on top of a border and make a button that has like a transferring color effect and then have different icons or animations or little animals popping out from the screen. The fact is that a front-end software engineer wouldn't be built out what exactly you designed and it wouldn't be easy to use. So make your product down to earth, make sure it's easy to use, get at least two real life projects, send it to some of your friends and ask them, hey, does it look like a real product? If you feel like you've done all of those, then check out my previous video on how I landed my first role. I think you'll be able to do it too. Another thing I wanna to say to this group of people is that don't constrain yourself to the title of UX designers. After one year of working as a UX designer, I realized that I would rather call myself a product designer than a UX designer because at the end of the day if you are only called a UX designer you might get into this situation where you don't have too much say on the product design and that's not going to be helpful for your future career to be honest it's just like different titles different companies cultures some companies will call a designer UI designer others will call it UX designers and others will call it product designers usually the ones that call it product designers will give you higher salary and also higher control on the product design rather than just like less Letting the product manager sending you a list of requirements and then you go into the Figma designing everyone else's idea. And regarding the timing, 2023. Well, right now, it definitely doesn't look like a great time to get into the tech industry, given all these layoffs that's happening. It's just like blowing my mind. But being honest, I think regardless of how horrible the timing is, there will be opportunities here and there. It's just that the opportunities will look kind of different. Right now, there's still a lot of startups wanting to have more UX designers or product designers. It's definitely not going to be like you're going to become a product designer at Apple with one or two real life projects, but it also won't be like you're just never going to be a UX designer because of the tough timing. And I think there's a high chance for you guys. And if you're a part of this group of people, UX designers or product designers who work in the tech industry get higher salary. So overall, I think it will be worth for you to transfer into UX design or product design in 2023.
Now, if you are the second group of people who don't have a lot of visual design background, and if you're either in the process of learning UX design or thinking about whether you should transfer into UX design, I want to be honest here, it takes time to make a great portfolio, and UI design is not something you can just master in a few months, unless you're putting a hell lot of practice. I understand that my channel or my experience make it kind of look like I just took the UX Google certificate course and then worked on one real life project, and then I got my job at eBay. But that's really not the case because I started designing since I was 13 years old and I have tons of product design and UI design projects before I took the Google UX course. So if you don't have a lot of visual design background, it could be difficult for you to pass the portfolio scanning step. So for this group of people, I want to first ask you, what is your strength? Are you a visual thinker or are you good at writing? in languages? Or are you a people person, good at managing people, managing projects? Because there are tons of roles in the tech industry that is not UX design, but is similar to UX design, that doesn't require coding and gives you a good salary. Conversation design, for example, is a role where you help to design better conversation for bots like Alexa, Siri, or all those bots that just pops up in a website. And I've made a video about conversation design, and I also have this partnership with the Conversational Design Institute so another coupon if you want to take the course and comparing to UX design feels like conversation design has way less competition and more companies are willing to hiring people who has a certificate. Some other examples include product or project management. You will manage a lot of design project plus people as a PM and as a UX designer I often feel like I am 20% of a PM and then 80% of a designer because I talk with my PM all the time to try to clarify what is the problem we're trying to solve, what is the timeline, what is the data that supports the design and a lot of times PMs or product managers does more design than the designers because they make the product specifications the guidelines the requirements and you don't have to have great UI realizations in a portfolio to become a product manager definitely not saying that it's easier to become a PM it's just a different route that you can try and plus you probably will get a higher salary compared to a UX design role some other things that you can explore are content designers content designers write the text in every single product. I partner with them all the time when I'm doing the design. If you are good at writing or making things easy to understand or good at language, then definitely check out what's content designers plus content writers, similar thing. If you have some coding experience, then you can also check out front-end engineering. I really hope there are more and more and better front-end engineers in this world. I don't know if many people become front-end engineers because I've never worked with super great front-end engineers. It almost feels like they are back-end engineers who happen to be assigned some front-end task. And I know Meta released a front-end engineering course on Coursera, so maybe that course could help you if you want to see what it's like. And of course, UX design is one of the things you shall consider. And plus, you shall also consider product design. I am a UX designer, and I would rather call myself a product designer because I realized in order for you to do all those UX work, you have to have the power to design the product. Also, usually product designers get a higher pay. So check out both UX design and product designers. With all that being said, I'm not trying to discourage you from becoming a UX designer because if you have a deeper reason of why you want to become a UX designer, you probably will eventually become one. Let's talk UX more next year. And if you are not yet a UX designer, I'm still going to share a lot of tutorials, videos, insights about UX design. I probably will also share more about product design. As I said, UX designer is not a great title if you want to be more in charge of the product. What is your career goal? for 2023. Comment down below in the description and I'm excited to see your response. My career goal is So look, even if I have a job, even if I'm writing a UX designer, I'm still like so confused. And I think this is the norm. The norm is to be confused about your future and a career. Not everyone has a clear goal in mind and that's okay. Thank you everyone. I'm Aliana. Happy New Year.